Matt, I have an impossible task for you in all of 60 seconds. What concerns you most about these immediate months ahead of us? What concerns me most is that this is this. It's going to get worse than what happened on January 6th uh, because we have appeal of uh, people that have been pushed and instigated and lied to and believe some crazy stuff. Stop. I cannot let that one go, especially considering he's on a show hosted by a stolen valor fraud who has lied multiple times about being involved in military situations, such as being hit by an RPG while flying in a helicopter over Baghdad. Seriously, think for a second. Who lies about stuff like that? It's always some weirdo. So of course he gets hired back to NBC where he'll continue his job of being a liar. And there's 300 million guns in America uh, that we have spread across the country. And that really concerns me. Um, oh, here we go. The real threat to America is its constitutionally lawful gun owners. There you have it, folks. They're coming for your guns. Now they're just going to use the national media to increasingly demonize us as some sort of a terrorist threat that should be dealt with like the Taliban in Afghanistan. I do think that is the perfect example of believing in crazy stuff, as well as exposing their audience to extremist content that is manipulating people's anger and disappointment. But I seriously doubt you'll get this new Facebook notification by watching this clip there. Um, I think we can get through this. Um, but I think it's going to take a series of devastating losses on the Republicans part, but in the immediate, I'm, I'm concerned that January 6th was just a preliminary event for worse things that could happen and more loss of life in the course of this. And it's a very, very scary thing. He says, quote, I'm concerned that January 6th was just the preliminary event for worse things that can happen and more loss of life. What loss of life is he referring to? Ashley Babbitt? I seriously doubt it. Rather, I think he's referring to the media's big lie that they've molded where Capitol Police and others were killed in the rioting. They weren't. Why would we not be way more worried about the seemingly above the law left-wing mobs that never really stopped rioting in parts of the country and whose charges are always seemingly dropped? Since we're hearing all this unsubstantiated fear-mongering about half the country from these MSNBC hacks, surely they're not guilty of doing this very thing themselves. <laughs> In a 6-3 ruling written by Samuel Alito, the most reliably conservative justice, the Supreme Court dealt another violent blow against democracy by upholding two restrictive Arizona voting laws. All right, I'm just going to come out and say it. Her hair looks like an elephant took a dump on her head and it's running down her shoulders. Sadly, the conservative decision shows shows you just how central the big lie has become to Republican orthodoxy. How about some of the legal jargon here? Alito's standard is basically as long as you don't say the n-word when you are taking away people's votes it is fine disparate impact on black and brown and native voters in arizona the plaintiffs the state of arizona admitted that these laws had a disparate impact and admitted that that's why they were there like, like let's be clear the, the the arizona said that the reason why they wanted these laws is to help them win elections by depressing the vote right that racism just wasn't enough what, what did enough racism to trigger the Voting Rights Act? I must be nice to have a job where you can tell other people how much racism is real. <laughs> Just real quick though, everything they're saying here is straight up lies and incitement. There's absolutely nothing racist or violent about making sure people are showing up to the correct precincts to vote or voter ID. And it's interesting that MSNBC nor anyone ever cared about Delaware's more stringent voting laws, blue state home of Joe Biden. Take the state of... Delaware, home state of the president. They require voter ID to register or to vote, or and they ask the social security number if you want to mail in ballot. They forbid no excuse voting. It limits mail in absentee uh, ballots to that. And it limits early voting. And it has four drop boxes for you to drop off your mail in ballot in the entire state. Allowing someone else to drop off a ballot is particularly important for indigenous communities in Arizona. Today, the Supreme Court's conservative majority said all that stuff is fine. And I could give you the legal reasoning, but here's the real reasoning. It's because they and all other parts of the right are working in tandem against America's multiracial democracy. And that's because multiracial democracy is the thing conservatives are mobilizing and radically radicalizing against across every single 
faction of the party. Yeah, again, everything he's saying here is propaganda geared at the paranoid and angry. Fear mongering, that could easily lead to violence, which they would no doubt blame on somebody else. I seriously wonder sometimes if all the people in the media, maybe they're picked for this reason, but it's like they all have mental conditions that make them prone to projection. They do it a lot, but then again, it's also a useful tool for deflection and subterfuge. Anyway, I just wanted to share this most recent media madness with you all. Also, if you're anything like me, then you're stocked up on fireworks and ready to go blow them all up. I'm going to be live streaming Saturday night, July 3rd at around 9.30 Eastern if you want to watch. If you like this video, please hit the button and let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow.